It is. The win was so important for us. The extra two points we got today. Um, really important. We've got to drive on. We're not. Uh, so everyone might suddenly think that was a great day. It was a nice day, but still got six more points at stake for everybody. So um, it went. You know, it, it went our way today. We played really well. The players were fantastic, and uh, we got our three points. One point now can do it if other results go your way. But I guess you go into the final two just the same as it would have been anyway. I don't know, I've not looked at the table, I've told all the players I'm not allowed to look at the table for a while, I've just got to think about, we move straight on to the next, we just can't fall into any sense of um, comfort, you know, we much needed three points today and we've got six more at stake, so we can enjoy it, but let's not get too pleased. And uh, with those substitutions, when Ruben came on, he's always a, always a handful and uh, managed to win the penalty for you. Yeah, it was a really nice bit of play. You know, it was a bit of composure around the box of a pass. I forget who he played the little ball with. I mean, was it David Wheeler or Jake Taylor? One of them played a little pass with him. And just that bit of composure around the edge of the box. And, um, you know, I think, I think all the, there's a lot of anxiety around the ground today. And, um, you know, all the, all the nerve and all the sense all the know-how was on the pitch, thankfully, and they and they they kept the nerve. They didn't. I mean, they scored a brilliant equaliser. I mean, let's not let's not, let's not forget the fact we're we're totally in control of that. And there's you know a wonderful volley, and um, then it's one all, and all the pressure comes again, and all the anxiety you can feel it around you. And our players held the nerve, and we didn't expose ourselves early. We didn't chase the game. We still brought everyone back for, for, for defending corners, by the way, because, you know, to win a game, you've got to make sure you keep it out the other end. And we did that again and again and again. And then we, uh, and we've got something in us. The last five minutes, we've just got something in us. And we showed again today, we've got that ability to, to raise our game in the last five, ten minutes. And we did it and got the points. You're shifting formations around uh, again today. Pat Baldwin, our co-commentator, was sort of identifying them as they were going along for you. Yeah, I mean, it, it, because of the way they played today, and they have played the last three games, we knew it would be that type of game, hence the selection. Pick players had to be very, very versatile and flexible, and you would have seen the change. I mean, the, the two that made the most changes, who are my, I suppose, my problem solvers, were Jake Taylor and Ryan Harley. They changed two or three times to solve the problems for me. And they were brilliant today, absolutely brilliant, and uh, enabled me to, to move things around. But, but you know, we went one and up. They changed their shape, and we and we changed ours. It was you, you've got to be flexible, and uh, the players did great. Like someone like Jordan Tilson, who went back into the back four and did extremely well. We've uh, we've got a very versatile, you know, adaptable team. So to their credit, they they always do what I ask them to do. So but they're a great squad to work with. Ruben Reid did seem to go down a little bit awkwardly right uh, there at the end of the game. Was there anything to worry about for City fans? Well, he's just feeling his groin, yeah, he slipped. I mean, there's a, a few players slipped at different times today. It was very hard underneath, the grass is lush, so we thought he was breaking through on goal. I mean, you probably thought the same thing. So I haven't spoken to him yet, but he, he did come up feeling, feeling his groin, so hopefully, I'm hoping he's going to be OK. And just finally, looking ahead to Doncaster next week, do you sort of uh, approach the game any differently or do you think that they will be slightly more nervous because they haven't sealed the title yet? I, I don't know. I don't know. We just have to go with the same same plan. You can second guess certain things, but you can't second guess how people feel in their own stadium. I, I, um, we've, got a, look, we've been successful on the road this year. We've won 12 games. I don't think we should underestimate ourselves, whoever we're playing against. So, we've um, got seven days yet. Um, let's let's let's, uh, let's dust ourselves down and get ready. But uh, there'll be a lot of thinking to be done between now and then, and a lot of playing, a lot of effort, a lot of decision making, a lot of changes, and we'll see. I don't know yet. Okay, Paul. Thanks. Well done today. Thank you very much, fellas. Thank you.